Good morning and welcome to House of God's Grace Daily Devotion. Let us pray. Father God, I thank you for your love. I thank you for your word. I thank you for your mercies, Lord. I thank you, Father God, that your grace abounds, Father God. Thank you for your favor, Lord God. Heavenly Father, I ask that you come and take your place. Come and have fellowship with us, Holy Spirit. You are welcome in our midst. Thank you for this morning, Lord God. Have your way. In Jesus' name, amen. This morning I want to speak out of the book of Psalms. It is Psalm 28, verse 6 to 7, and it says the following. Praise be to the Lord, for he has heard my cry for mercy. The shield, the Lord is my strength and my shield. My heart trusts in him and he helps me. My heart leaps for joy and with my song I praise him. The message translation says, Blessed be God, he heard me praying. He is on my side. I've thrown my lot in with him. Now I'm jumping for joy and shouting and singing my thanks to him. And while reading the specific scripture, or verse, especially verse 6, um, the thought that came to mind is that God can be trusted. And we, we are often so downcasted because of our circumstances. The rent is due, um, school fees must be paid, debt must be paid. There's just so much month left after the end of the money and we become discouraged and we we really get to a place of not knowing what to do where do we go from here there is no resources and this causes us to be so frustrated and god wants to remind us this morning that he is trustworthy that you and i can trust him because when he says that he will supply all our needs according to his riches and glory in Christ Jesus, he most certainly mean it. And he asked me this morning to remind you that he is trustworthy. You can trust him. Above everybody else, you can trust the Lord. It doesn't matter who disappointed you in not keeping the word to you whether it is today or in the past or whenever it happened God can be trusted for he says I'm not man that I should lie and when he gives a word his pardon his word surely come to pass and this morning he's reminding us that he can be trusted I'm also reminded about my posture during my time of waiting for an answer. When I pray, after I've prayed, what is my posture? How do I behave after I've let my request known to God? Am I downcasted? Do I pick up my problem again in that I'm going to solve it myself? Or do I leave it at the Lord's feet and trust and have peace about it so that He can work it out for me? And the word posture is how are you standing? How are you holding yourself in this time of waiting for your prayers to be answered? And it's very important to know what to do while you are waiting. You know, waiting doesn't mean I sit and do nothing. Waiting means that what, what is it that I need to do in order to align with my circumstances changing? What is my attitude? And many of us, myself included, we have, we have gotten so used to when the balls pile up, we we gotten so used to becoming negative in our thinking, becoming negative in the way that we speak. We don't change our 
manner of, of doing things, we continue in the same attitude. We continue in the same behavior. But the Lord is saying this morning that you have got to change the way that you do things in order for change to come about. And while thinking about your posture or our posture that we need to have, I was reminded about how Prophet Nathan has been teaching us how to pray. And, and, he, and he starts off his prayers with thanksgiving. And he says, thank God for anything and everything. The things that we take for granted, we start our prayers with thanksgiving. So you thank Him for the roof over your head. You thank Him for the food that's on your table. You thank Him for the clothes that's on your back. You thank Him for His protection over your family. You thank Him for anything and everything. And then you lift Him up. Then you call out the names that He is to you. Jehovah Jireh, the Lord my provider. Jehovah Nisi, the Lord my peace. He is the King of kings and the Lord of lords. He is trustworthy. Oh Lord, you are trustworthy. And I give you all the glory, honor, and praise. Then you make your request known to him. Knowing that he is going to answer you. Knowing that he is faithful to his word. Because when he says, I will supply all your needs according to the riches and glory in Christ Jesus. He most certainly will do so. He will do over and above what you think or imagine. But you only have to believe that He is. And you have to trust Him. I have trust issues. Because I could never trust my better half at that time. I could never trust my husband's word. And that allowed me, and it's not just my husband, um, it was other people also. Um, other men that I had relationships with, for some reason or the other, they have always not kept their word to me. And I was constantly disappointed. And this has, when I started my relationship with the Lord, it really caused a barrier in terms of me trusting God in who He is to me and who He says He is. And because of my physical, in the natural, because of the physical disappointment that I faced, I had trouble trusting the Lord. And you might have had a similar situation where people have disappointed you, where people have broken promises to you, and you just can't get past that. But this morning the Lord is asking you, trust me. Take the step of faith. Believe what I write in my word. Run with it. I will not disappoint you. I will not disappoint you. God honors us when we stand on His Word. He honors us. So I want to encourage you this morning. It doesn't matter what brother A or sister C did to you. It doesn't matter what your husband, his word that he kept and he, did, he didn't keep his word to you. It doesn't matter who broke their promises to you. Our God, He is a promise keeper. He is a God of promise. In Hebrews, it says there that He is a God of promise. When He gave Sarah a word to open her womb, she conceived. God of promise. While you are waiting for God, to answer your prayers. Praise Him in the meantime. Worship Him in the meantime. For when praises go up, blessings come down. Your posture is important while you are waiting. But know this this morning. 
our God is a promise keeper. He is trustworthy. You can trust Him. And lay that disappointment at His feet. And forgive those people who have disappointed you. Let them go. Spreek hulle vry. Nie vir hulle onthalwe nie. Not for their sake, for your sake. So that you can draw closer to the Lord. As He works on your heart. Father God, I thank you for this morning. I thank you for your word that is true, Lord. Father, thank you that you are worthy to be praised, my God. Lord, I pray that while we are waiting for our prayers to be answered and as we make supplications before you, my God, I pray that you will give us right now in the name of Jesus, from the top of our heads, Holy Spirit, to the soles of our feet, my God, come and breathe life into us, Father God. Lord, I pray that we will have an attitude of gratitude, Lord. An attitude of expectancy, knowing that you are so faithful and you will let your word come to pass, Father God. I thank you, Father God, that you that you are trustworthy, that you are reliable, that you are dependable, my God. I thank you, Lord God, that we will choose to praise you through our circumstances. I pray that we will praise you through our circumstances. We will not be a people, Father God, that is bogged down by our circumstances, but we will choose to praise you anyway, Father God, despite what is going on around us. I pray this for each and every person that is watching this video. Heavenly Father, have your way. In the mighty name of Jesus. I thank you for each and everyone's life, my God. Bless them now exceedingly abundantly more than they ask, think, or imagine. In Jesus' mighty name, I pray. Amen. Thank you for your time. Thank you for joining me. Please remember that Prophet Nathan is online tomorrow at 1 o'clock for our weekly prayer session. Please invite people to come, like our Facebook page so that you are able to get notifications for when we do go live. And subscribe to our YouTube channel so that you can also get the devotions on a weekly basis. God bless you. Have a fantastic Thursday.